Hey guys, I wasted a couple hours of my life on this uh, TPI stock throttle body. Throttle body. TPI manifold. The only thing I can say is my original flows you saw yesterday were pretty good. There was not a lot I could do because I kind of pushed my luck on it the first time around. Well, I pushed my luck a little bit harder. And what was I rewarded with? Five more CFM. That's it. Was it worth it? Probably not. So to discuss what we did do is we went through and we removed some area from this, right? We mark this curve as wide as we can, okay? Does that mean we take off any on this side? We can if we run out of area here, right? And we want to make all of these the same distance, which is part of the equation. You want to get these to flow as evenly as possible. You don't want one high flow runner and the next runner to be a low flow. So if you have to, you can take some out of here, but you're not going to have a lot of airspeed on this side, okay? The airspeed is going to be on this side. So that's where we need to remove remove some uh, area and uh, make it a straighter path, okay? Now this doesn't really look much different than last time you've seen it because in reality it's not, you know? <sighs> you know, 30 thousandths, 40 thousandths, 50 thousandths, whatever I could get out of it, and then I had to go through all of them and do it. So, in fact, I only did one side, one side of the manifold. So I did four, I did four ports and uh, it's already uh, afternoon. <laughs> so I figure four, four or five hours fiddling with four ports for 5 CFM. But I wanted to do it because I don't want to have any issues with the aftermarket manifold. So if we look at this, just like we did yesterday, right? We added some area here. Right, we straighten it up. We add some area here. And you know where else I added some area? In this, in this section on the roof. And my theory was... I'm very dark over here, so guys, sorry. My theory was we're coming in real low like this, right? But if I start to curve that roof... If I curve that roof, it kind of lines it up a little better with the port. Now, do I know if that's going to work in reality? I'm pretty sure. You know, and something we didn't, I don't think we measured, mentioned it yesterday, but if you do this, right, and you move this wall over a little bit, and you move this wall over a little bit, in reality, you're shortening this wall a little bit. It's not going to make a huge difference. It's not going to make your torque peak come in, you know, 500 RPM uh, higher. It's not, it's not going to work that way. But every little bit helps, I think. All right, let's take a look at our, our air speeds. So the one on the right is the one you guys have seen already. And I just copied, right? I made my mistake. I put A, B, D, C, right? So that it's all the same. The markings are all the same here. The markings here are all the same. So, what did we do? We went from 273 to 266. If you give it a little more area, that makes sense, right? All right, two, we went from 247 to 352. Okay, that's this section. Now, this section really didn't get much area taken out. It had some. I did go over it with the burr, but I didn't... I didn't spend a lot of time on it, okay? Whereas here, this has been kind of pushed to its limit, okay? And this edge has been kind of pushed to its limit. And the roof here has been kind of pushed to its limit. Now, could I open up the middle of this runner and gain some CFM? I bet I could. But I think that might be something we can agree upon after we look at everything, okay? If we take a look at three, we went from 298 to 309. All right, a little bit, 
it's actually a little bit faster after we remove this. Kind of like you do on a short side. Sometimes you lay back the short side, hoping to slow it down. In reality, it makes the air want to go to the, the short side more, so it speeds it up. Same idea. Okay, and four is all the way at the mouth, where it intersects with the head. We were at 351. I would think it would slow down a little bit. I gave that roof a little more area, and it did. Okay, fair enough. Now, if we average these and average these, like I'm sure Rob will, he'll tell us which one which one's better. He was actually quite happy with the air the air speeds as far as average through the port, which is kind of interesting, um, because that's part of the that's part of this plan. Try to keep our average airspeed through the ports as close as we can. Now, of course, adding area kind of goes against that, but we're trying to get mass flow at the same time, so it's not going to be easy. Let's take a look at B. Okay, we went from 185 to 146. So B is this outside wall. So if we took area out, it should slow down, and it did. Okay, two, we went from 223 to 221, almost exactly the same. 353 to 343, right? That's, am I right? B. Yeah, you know what? A was the floor. Sorry, guys. I was thinking it was going around this. This actually is in bed, three, right? 343, you would expect that to speed up quite a bit. It actually went down a little bit as we even this out. But it has more area as well. And at the mouth, it actually sped up. But these are nice and even. I mean, in reality, except for that dead spot here, the rest of these points on this wall are pretty good. Okay, now D. D is this inside wall. We went from 301 to 287. Okay, and that's this side. So we got the same thing happening. Right? As we give it some more area and we flatten this curve out a little bit, we actually drop some speed. You can give me your opinion on that. Okay. Two, center section, we went from 301 to 274. It slowed down. It slowed down on this wall a little bit. Not a huge amount. Here, right where it starts to come into the turn here, went from 217 to 200 pretty dead right here, right? Pretty dead. Which you would expect. That's the outside of the turn. And where it interfaces the head, we went from 281 to 249. So we lost a bit of speed on that side. Because it's following this slow side here, right? If this is slow, you would think this is also going to be slow, right? You don't want air crisscrossing across. You want it to all flow together. Okay, so C. C is our roof of the port. We were 298, we're now 276 because on the roof we have a little more area to transition this from round to semi square. We had 343 in this center section. Now we're down to 316. That's a big bounce down. Okay, now at the turn three, we went from 271 to 259. That's on the roof in the middle here. Now remember, I did give this extra area so I could start to make that turn. And we went from 345 at the very exit to 315. Now, you guys can give me your opinion, but I think this is just a little bit more balanced. Let me take a quick look. I think it's just a little bit better. Was it worth all the time I spent through it? Probably not. But, like I said, I wanted to learn from it. Now, I didn't do the how much it should fit through there because they're going to be relatively close. I didn't, I didn't add much area at all. You know, like two should be almost identical and four should be almost identical. Okay? Uh, 
One got some more area, so you probably add some CFM to that. Three got some more area, add a little CFM to that. And that's where we stand. All right, guys. Enough fun and games on this stuff. Hopefully the uh, rest of these parts will come in soon. I'm still waiting for my jag valves. I do have the two valves that uh, Mark gave me. We can we can do some valve job stuff on the jag heads. Maybe we'll work on that tomorrow if I don't get stuck doing another electrical job. All right, guys. Actually, the one, one electrical job didn't happen today. And the other one, there was no parts there. So that was a kind of a waste. So that job went to get parts. And the other job I have to hit, it's an attic job bright and early. Can't wait. Attic jobs in Florida. What a joy. Too old for that crap. You know, I didn't show you the other side, but the other side, you can really see this wall here was straightened out a lot. There, now there, there is not a lot of metal between this curve and this curve at this point. Not a lot of metal. Now, in reality, you can make that pretty darn thin. But we're coming in much straighter than it was stock, okay? In reality, we're coming in at this angle, which is not bad. The original one came way out here, okay? All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you're liking this. If you want to know what burr that is, that's my high helix. And uh, it was done without oil or anything. Is it perfect in every way like Wiffy? Nope, but it's plenty good enough for testing. All right, guys. Have a good night.